All right, Elizabeth here um, for the Forty and Fish channel. Um, as you can see, there's been some changes to my Wallstead tank jar, so I wanted to give an update. Uh, <laughs> if you're looking, um, well, so <laughs> plants melted. A lot of them did, as you can see, and I knew that was going to happen. I'd ordered during the Christmas rush, and just a lot of them couldn't handle that but the Elodia is actually if you look at the very top up here and yes I'll talk about the obvious critters in here um, they are starting to put on some new growth the dwarf sag uh, baby tears they're actually growing but of course uh, thanks to the melt um, Unfortunately, uh, there became an algae outbreak, as you can kind of see here, all this mold and algae everywhere. And I didn't want to put shrimp in this because, um, I, I don't know. I, I wanted it to be more established, but then I saw an idea that kind of, um, made me want to experiment. And this could be totally stupid, but we'll see. Um, I've added Daphnia to, to this jar and uh, I ordered about 200 Daphnia. You can see them here. They've all gone to the light because the light turned on. Um, and um, I've added a little bit of brewer's yeast. That's what they were fed according to their the supplier I got this from. So I've added that in here, and I'm going to make this a kind of microculture Wallstead jar. We're going to see. Um, it could be a total failure, uh, but because there's so much um, debris in here, mulm and stuff, there's a lot of stuff that the Daphnia can feed on. And I also need a live culture for a tank that I have built, which I will peek up here. That's all you guys can see. And I'll show that off a little later, but the animals in there need live cultures, so that's why, um, yeah, I have these guys, the Daphnia. They're kind of cool to watch. I thought they'd be creepy, crawly. Uh, no, they're actually kind of cool. They're a little cute, even. So, yeah, that's what I've got. <laughs> 